All right, ladies and gentlemen. Stitches has received a rework inside of the Nexus. He's now Roadhog. Bet you didn't see that one fucking coming. On a serious note, he has received a lot of quality of life stuff. They've given him a new talent called a Lone Talent. More about that in a little bit. And he seems to have a few different builds that feel pretty okay at the moment. Feels okay at the moment. Uh, I'm sure as we get some more games under our belt, we'll start to see a clear winner. But today I wanted to try a hook build because a lot of cool stuff has changed with Stitches' hook. First of all, level one, we are going to go for Hungry for More. We already get a 5% bonus to movement speed. If we continue to gather globes, we get more movement speed, although it's a lot of globes. We're probably only going to be looking at like 10% or something by the end of this game, which is okay with me. Uh, the friendly team stitches Vala Anduin Dehaka uh, and Illidan. Too far, my dude. You went too far. Uh, let's rotate down to the bottom and make sure we're getting that XP. Uh, the enemy team Tassadar, Arthas, Deckard Kane, Jim Raynor, and Vala. Raynor and Vala also got reworks, and Anduin also got a rework in this latest patch, so it'll be interesting to see how this game plays out. I'm rotating down to bottom. I'm gonna bite this minion and I'm gonna leave because I am here for globes. No, 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 this is my globe, my globe. Ah! And you still died. Vala, what happened? Vala! The idea with this build that we're trying to accomplish today is going to be uh, hooking all of the time. We're going to get a lot of CDR on our hook. There's also a really cool level 20 talent that has uh, just been added to the game for the hook. And I think it could be pretty devastating. It's also going to be doing percentage damage to our allies as well. I think it'll be pretty fun. Uh, I was actually aiming for the region globe there. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but I'll take that too. Um, excuse me, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I need this globe. Thank you, Sir Arthas. If you want to come back and try again, you're more than welcome. Fuck yeah, dude. We're at seven globes so far, rotating back down. Can I ping how many globes I have for my quest? The alt ping doesn't do anything, so I guess not. Woo, that was good. Uh, so at level four, I'm gonna pick up Tenderizer. Tenderizer not only slows enemies like it did before, but it's also going to restore some health to us now as well. Meaning when we do land these hooks, if we get a target like Tassadar, all we gotta do is start auto attacking them and then Tassadar will not be able to move very much uh, as he's trying to get away from us. It is a 25% slow, so they can, they can still move a little bit. It's not like they're rooted or anything, but it does help us continue to auto attack them and continue to keep them in range of where we hooked. Uh, it's also going to be providing us heals now, so we're really getting sustain off of all of these hooks as well, if things go well. I'm stealing your globe. We're at 12 right now. Also, for every single one of these globes that we pick up, we're also getting an increase to our maximum health. We have an increase of 360 so far in this game. I want to... Got it! There have been some XP changes that have been added to the game. XP globes are still a thing. However... Uh, globes last 45 seconds on the ground now. If you don't pick them, them up right away, they do lose a lot of their potency. So you do need to make sure that you grab them pretty quickly. You could see the power of that tenderizer on Vala there. She was pretty slow to be able to move away from us. I'm getting the globe. And then rotating back down. My teammate is, my teammates are doing very well here. So if they're going to continue to succeed, we can continue to focus on our quests. And if we focus on our quest, the whole team gets stronger. You know what I mean? We're, we're part of the, the, the weakest link in the chain. We'll make it fail. I don't want to be the weakest link. Uh, the team did stop channeling, so I can move in for that. Hook on Tessida. Uh, we do have Arthas moving up into me right now. We're going to go for Serrated Edge. This is a hook talent that we just picked up. If we hit an enemy hero with it, we're going to deal 5% of their maximum health and damage. So for characters like the enemy team's Arthas, it can have a, a pretty devastating 
amount of damage over time. However, it'll continue to get better as the game goes on because we're gonna get more and more and more hook talents to complement it. Pulling him back in again. <laughs> oh, no, Give me the glove! Give me the glove! Yeah, thank you! Um, I don't think there's any way he can get out of here by himself. So I'm just gonna keep hitting him. We tested our moves to run. Oh. Hey. Nice job, Deckard. I don't know if you meant to do that on purpose, but that was actually a pretty smooth move there, my dude. Uh, we just got another increase to our movement speed here. We now have a 10% baseline increased movement speed. Arthas is going to be hurting that a little bit with his passive aura that's around him. Look at all this XP on the ground here. Uh, Stitches also has a trait that he can use now. It allows him to puff out toxins around him. You may have seen that there. It also makes it so my movement speed cannot fall under a certain percent. That should be pretty good at countering Arthas, now that I now that I actually stop and think about it for a second. Hook going in is not gonna connect, but the objective is moving in pretty well. Uh, I am gonna be rooted here, but we can devour the front line to get some HP back. A bomb goes off on this enemy team. They're taking a fuck ton of damage. Let's try to move back here a little bit. Uh, we could go for Gorge and just try to remove their healer for some of these altercations. I don't think that's a bad idea. One really exciting change to Stitches is that he received a baseline talent for just hitting level 13. I, did not expect the I have always picked Fishing Hook. Ever since my first games in Heroes, I've loved Fishing Hook. I've played around it all the fucking time. I think it's incredible. Well, Fishing Hook is gone. And at first glance, that might be a little scary for players like me, but you actually get it passively now. At level 13, your hook range just goes up. What do you know? Does it say that anywhere? It does. After reaching level 13, our range is increased. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, we might be a little scared here. I'm going to go ahead and pop my trait. I think I'm fine, though. <laughs> Yeah, this is what we wanted. You get in the belly and you come with me. We no longer have that movement speed decrease on our gorge, so we could do some really fucking fun stuff like that from much further away than what we were able to do before. I really think this might be the strongest version of Stitches that we've ever had. It is pretty fucking good, my dudes. Uh, tenderizer on Tassadar, gonna force him to run away, or not! He's gonna go down. We have a region globe right behind me, I definitely want that. Thank you, team, appreciate you. Uh, do you think they're just standing here still? They were. I shouldn't have shown my, my hand so clearly, I shouldn't have moved up so far. Uh, region globe in the bottom, but it's already gone. I'm gonna rotate back up, actually. Uh, so, we don't take fishing hook. Instead, we're going to take meat hook. Hitting heroes uh, with our hook is going to heal us for, I believe, 20% of our maximum health. It is quite a lot. Hello. Uh, I'm just going to keep hitting this uh, Arthas standing in his way, hitting him with tenderizer, slowing him down. I'm going to drop the heal under my feet here because I walked up a little bit too far. Ah, the hook just barely missing Tassadar. See if I can sneak up here. I have their healer. I'm just going to run the healer away, I guess. They already had a kill set up, so I'll just bring this fucking guy over here. <laughs> Easy hook back into. Hello? <laughs> the real question is, do you think we can kill a Deckard? And I guess we found the answer for that pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Oh, do you think they'll kill this guy and give me a region globe if I stay a second longer? Yeah, kill his minion. How did I miss that region globe that was in melee range? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, the friendly team level 14, almost level 15 to the enemy team's 12. Uh, so things are going pretty well. We have healed for 15,000 health so far. That's half of Anduin's total healing, just to give you an idea of how much sustain we actually have. When this wall goes down, I should be able to hook through it, but there were some minions in the way, that's okay. I'm here for the globe, and we got it. Uh, Vala is... hanging out in the middle. 
Give me a violet. <laughs> Hello? Oh, the hunt being used, the hook follow up! The light bomb on me! Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> that was a really good setup, actually. I really like that. We're taking quite a lot of damage now, so I am gonna be backing up. However... Here you go. I brought this for you. Do you want this? Deck! <gasps> okay. Okay. Alright, we... We cut that a little fucking close there. We cut that shit a little too fucking close there. But you know what? That's okay. No harm, no foul. Or as my character in Mass Effect said lately, yesterday, no, ops, uh, no autopsy, no harm. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go for flare up at level 16. This is going to cause us to always kind of radiate some extra damage out. But after we hook a target, that extra damage that we're radiating is going to increase quite a bit. We see Illidan jumping in onto the enemy team's Rainer. Vol is spinning in the back as well, and they take these guys down no problem. Um, if these guys are just chilling this far back, let's go ahead and pull them out of their safety net. We have Vala in the belly. Let's see if Vala can 1v1 me. I'm just gonna walk her away from the team. Not only did I pull Vala away, I also pulled their healer away. So whatever my teammates are doing, they should be doing a great job at it. Uh, I did a close range hook just so I could spark our passive damage over time. We have another heal and it looks like Deckard met his end. You're not going anywhere! Get the fuck back here, Vala! Slowing her. I'm sl great grab. This should be a pretty easy takedown here. Oh, guys, I missed out on one kill. I'm only at 20. We don't have 100% kill participation anymore. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, I do over, I guess. Sorry, guys. I thought this video was going pretty good. Guess we have to cut it. <laughs> Uh, I might as well shove bottom in. Now, I only get this extra damage if I hit a hero, right? Deals 29 damage per second to enemies. Hitting an enemy hero with hook or activating Shambling Hunger increases its damage by 150% for 4 seconds. So I can hit a hero with a hook or I can just activate my trait and have that pulse out some extra damage. Now, while this objective is active, most of the team just kind of split off and started doing other things. And I think that's okay. We're already really far ahead of this enemy team, so if we're able to push other lanes while also getting the objective with Illidan up top, I do not think that that is a bad play. In fact, I'm going to continue to split push this. We don't have a ton of split push damage, but, um... Uh, actually, maybe I do have a ton of split push damage. That was my trait, along with Flared Up coming into play as well. Okay, I'm going to leave. I was just here for globes. By the way, speaking of globes, 43 collected so far. That means we have a 15% movement speed increase. That also means we're looking at an extra 1300 health added onto our maximum HP. That objective get, didn't get too much done, unfortunately. <laughs> Cheers. God damn. God damn. Oh, two globes here. Don't mind if I do. Uh, friendly team taking that top heal. That's fine. Oh, almost got him. Unbelievable. That would have been an incredible shot if that lined up. Because that would have had to, to... We would have had to go through several minions to get that done. I do not like one of Stitch's level 20's talents. Gift from the Embalmer allows you to resurrect if you're using Putrid Bile and you're dealing a bunch of damage to people. Just my first impression of it is that I think it's kind of silly for... Stitches to have that. Oh, you sweet summer child. Uh, just because, like, Stitches can't really do much on his own, or at least he wasn't able to do that before. 
Now as our hooks move out, if we hit any targets with Master Hooker, they're going to receive less healing for a few seconds. He's slowed, he's slowed, he's slowed. Uh, also, if we hook an ally, that ally cannot die for two seconds. If we do a helping hand, isn't that fucking nuts? I'm just moving in trying to body block this guy. These guys are in front of the wall. Unfortunately, I didn't see that minion right in front of my character, so that hook did not connect. Uh, this is actually a really exciting level 20 talent. It allows for not only more cooldown reductions, so you can get additional cooldown reduction with... Wasn't it here? Yeah, this takes five seconds off. This takes five seconds off. So we have a... <laughs> oh my god. Is that a six second hook cooldown? Is that six seconds? What? It's six fucking seconds. When she gets out of this gorge, I can immediately hook again to stun her. Ah! That's really good! Holy fuck. Now that's only when we land it, I guess. That's worth mentioning. That's only when we land the hook does it get all of that CDR. But that is so much CDR. Hey, can you just stand here and fight me, please? I'm just gonna keep hooking you in melee range. I think I'm at full health still. Three, two. Oh, he did not go where I thought he was going. So yeah, if you miss playing Stitches and you're good at landing hooks, uh, I, I think I think this might be the strongest Stitches has ever been. And I say that as a character who's been maining this character since the alpha of this game. I take that back. He was pretty busted in the alpha. He used to be able to get a generic talent called Sprint. He could also get a generic talent called Bolt of the Storm, which is still in the game on some characters. Uh, but he could use that in conjunction with Gorge, and he could get uh, uh, the fishing hook with that as well. So imagine this hook goes out. Come on, get the zip, get the zip, get the zip. Fuck. Imagine the hook goes out, we connect, we then blink away, start sprinting, and then throw up the person about fucking two screens away. If you ever want to see some cool Stitches stuff, you should go back and watch some of our alpha footage. It was really funny. It was really, really funny. Gotcha. Come with me. <laughs> uh, I think I'm okay still. <laughs> I stepped out, I stepped out! <laughs> Will it land? Oh, no! Well, that's Stitches. Uh, specifically with this hook build. I was looking at this and I thought it would be fun. I didn't think it would be this fucking fun. That's pretty staggering. Obviously, you got to be able to land the hooks for it to work. Obviously, if if you can't land the skill shots, you're going to have a hard time. So, if you're playing in a in a higher rank or versus better players or versus very mobile players, I don't think this build would be quite as good. Uh, but I've read these guys like a book. So that that worked out pretty well. Pretty happy with that. Uh the talents we went for today were the Hungry for More for the increased movement speed. We had at least 15% movement speed and like 1,500 additional HP by the end of the game. Tenderizer is buffed. It's better than it was before. It also heals you while it's slowing people down. And with the increased movement speed, we're basically able to auto-attack someone nonstop. This also helps you set up more kills for the hooks, which the rest of your build is based around on. Serrated Edge into Gorge. Gorge no longer has the movement speed penalty, so you can move really, really quickly with this again. We have Meat Hook into Flare Up into Master Hooker. I don't think Master Hooker is at all required, but man, having a six second cooldown on Hook allows you to heal for a lot. It allows you to deal a lot of damage. We did 46,000 healing that game. We did just as much damage as our Illidan. <laughs> I know Illidan does a lot on the map. I mean, I'm not trying to say that 
we really outplayed him, but he was all over doing stuff. It's just I don't expect to see a number that high when I look at stitches. Uh, I have been having some internet issues today and fucking not able to keep my stream up as long as I would like. But uh, in the previous game that we played, I ended up absorbing – what was the number, chat? Was it 60 – 68% of the damage? It was really, really, really high. Uh, but that was with a different setup. That wasn't with this build. There, all I'm trying to get to is there's a lot of prospects that seem pretty positive for stitches. My outlook right now is pretty positive. 66%. Okay, thank you. That's going to do it for today's video. hope you guys enjoyed it. Felt good. Felt good landing those skill shots again. Take care.